Good morning and welcome to Grounded. Do you trust Jesus? Like, do you truly, truly trust Jesus? Do you truly depend upon him? As you may know, we're in our Worship Through the Decades series, and today's song, Through It All, was written by Andre Crouch in 1995. Now, this song pretty much sums up his life of trials and struggles, but also some triumphs as well. As a child, Crouch struggled with dyslexia, and he had to overcome stuttering, but the most difficult times of his life came when his family members passed away in the span of just two years. And first it was his mother, followed by his father, and then his brother. Now, as you can probably imagine, and even understand, he went through a time of expressing anger toward God and having a hard time trusting him. And then one day during prayer, he laid it all out before the Lord and he confessed his feelings of grief and loss during this time with the Lord. And he felt God strongly urging him to praise him. And Crouch admitted that he initially um, felt as though he couldn't do it. And he cried out to God, I can't praise you going through like this. I just can't. I, I don't feel like it. But as the time passed on, he did give in and he began to thank Jesus and he began to praise him. And it was in that moment that he was completely overwhelmed by the joy of the Lord. And Crouch said that he learned a valuable lesson that day about the power of praise. He said, if depression comes for anything, learn to praise him. Amen. Wow, that's so powerful. Uh, the joy of the Lord really is our strength. Amen. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4 says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Another great promise um, that I love actually comes from Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Mm -hmm. So what's the one thing that you need to trust God with today? Think about it, pray about it, and then just trust God with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's so good. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I just want to lift up everyone um, within the reach of my voice this morning. Father, I thank you that you have given us the grace to trust you, Father. And I pray that no matter what we go through, Father, the good times and the bad, Lord, that you would be our, our central focus, Father, that we would depend upon you, that we would trust in you. Father, we love you and we worship you now. I've had tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation that my trials come to only make me strong. I've been a lot of places and I've seen millions of faces, but there were times that I felt so all But in my lonely hours, yeah, those precious lonely hours, Jesus let me know that I was his own. That's why I sing through it all, through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God through it all, through it all. I've 
learn to depend upon his word. So I thank God for the mountains, and I thank him for the valleys, and I thank him for the storms he brought me through. For if I'd never had a problem, I'd never know that God could solve it. I'd never know what faith in His Word could do.